Well, good day, everyone. It's Catfish Tyler. Uh, it is the weekend, and I've been doing a little bit of work here. We had one of the Catfish uh, Goliath Cat members send me some information about Think or Swim. And uh, since I'm having trouble here with the new, and I don't like the new Yahoo um, charting, uh, I'm going to change over to Think or Swim. And so I've been making some changes and putting in some indicators. And so I'm going to show you now a little pattern I discovered on SoFi uh, stock. We're talking SoFi symbol S-O-F-I. And I'm going to show you, I think, something you might find interesting. So first, let me move this off here. And then let me put this over here and then make it a little bit smaller or a lot smaller. Don't want me to be in the way. All right. So here's what I want to show you that I think that you might all find very interesting. Let me pull up the thinkorswim. <clears throat> and so here's the thing that caught my attention. Folks, on this day right here, which was <clears throat> on 6-12, SoFi's price was $7.13 for the high that day. Pretty close to it anyway. And what a coincidence that they would stop it at that price. You can see it over there on the right where the price is. As I move the cursor, it's really basically $7.13 is where they stop the price, okay? They stopped the run up there. So then what happened, folks, was it took nine days from this price right here at $7.13. It took nine days to drop it to this price here. And that was $6.28 right there, $6.28. Now, folks, when they got it down to 628 in nine days, then, so so pay attention, that drop right there from 713 to 628, write this down if you want, took nine days from 621, <clears throat> right? Uh, so just be aware that on 621, the price had dropped all the way down to $6.28 from 713. Okay, so from 612 and 713, the price fell to 628, 85 cents. Okay, 85 cents. Now I'm tracking this from 621 or 621 then to 628. The price rose to how much on the high there? The price rose to six. 61 folks is the price it hit right there 661 and then that was a 33 cent rise so the first drop was 85 cents from here to here then a 33 cent rise and then a drop back down 28 cents and it took nine days to drop and by the way so this move here was nine days this move here was seven days. This move was nine days. And this move back down was 28 cents down. So we saw an 85 cent drop, a 33 cent rise, a 28 cent drop. And then it went from $6.28 low all the way up. And it took nine days and on on seven, right here's the date right here, on uh, 7.17, the price hit 7.84, people. On 7.17, right there, the price hit 7.84. Folks, that is a rise from, and it took eight days. So we've got nine days to run it down, 85 cents. We've got seven days to run it up 33. We've got nine days to run it down 28 cents. And then we've got eight days to make it go up $1.51. Now, the reason I'm showing you this is because to me, ladies and gentlemen, this pattern right here and those prices looks identical to this pattern over here. So on this pattern, folks, and I, I want to back it up a little bit. I went too far out there. And we'll zoom it out just a little bit. So folks, the reason I'm showing you this pattern here now, and I'll zoom it out a little more, 
So here you go, folks. You've got this pattern of a drop, up, drop, up. And look here, this drop right here. So that first drop before was 85 cents. Well, this one went from a price right here on 919 of 848 a share. It went all the way up to 848 a share right there. And from 848 a share, it dropped not 85 cents like over here on the left, but this time it dropped 76 cents right there. From 76 cents, it rose right back up, and that was a 76 cent drop from 848, and it went down to $7.72, okay? From 848 to 772. And that drop right there, folks, you can see the number up on the right highlighted, 772. That drop, folks, was 76 cents. So the previous drop over here was 85 cents. And by the way, this drop was from 919 until 925. So not a nine day drop this time. It happened quicker. It happened in, in uh, six days this time. And the price only fell 76 cents. So back on the 21st until the 29th, they made it fall 85 cents over nine days. And this time, they could only make it fall 76 cents over a five-day duration. All right? I'm just making sure, or six days. And then, two days later, it went right back up here to 799. And folks, that is a 42 cent, I mean, a 27 cent change from 772. It went up 27 cents. When the last time, the rise was 33 cents. Okay? But coincidentally, that number there is the same number as the price drop on 628 from 628, 661 to the rise of 663, 28 cents. It was 27 cents this time, and this time the price went up on 628 to 79, it went up 28 cents, um, and then from 925 to 927, it went up 27 cents. But Folks, that rise the last time took nine days, and this time it was just two days. Now, here's the point I want you to be aware of. This drop right here from 7.99 down to 10, the date was 10.2, I believe. Yep, it hit 7.57 on 10.2, folks. 7.57 right there. And folks, that drop is a drop of 42 cents. Okay, so why I'm showing you this, folks, is from is because of this reason here. You can see clearly that the last time that SoFi made this drop from here to there to the rise to the fall, that here it went up a dollar and fifty one cents. Now I'm showing you this pattern, the drop the rise, the drop, and from this number, folks, my presumption is it's possible we could see a $1.51 rise. So from $7.57, folks, $1.51 plus $7.57 puts us at $9.08. So I'm showing you this for a possible next area to put in your sell orders now. I would suggest putting them in anywhere from nine oh uh, from eight ninety eight and eight ninety nine. Sell a few there, nine dollars. Sell some at nine oh six, nine oh seven, nine oh eight, folks, because that's probably where we're going to next, based on this chart right here from here to there. All right, I expect to see the same thing basically is what I'm looking at here is it's interesting is this number and the amount of the drop, the pop and the drop, and then the gain is very similar to this drop, the rise, the drop, and the possible gain. Okay, that's all I'm saying with this information on this here today. And we will see you on Monday, everyone. I am going to close this out now. Let's see if I can put this down so I can see my uh, image again. There we go. I hope that that all worked. <laughs> I don't know whether it did or not. I, I'm, I'm, like I said, sort of new to this. So 
anyway, but I thought it was worth showing you that because it looks very interesting to me. And I think it is very possible that SoFi may be on the verge of having a very nice run up here to around 908 based on the information that I just showed you. So that's it. That's all for today. I want to thank you very much for taking the time to take a look at my video. And I hope that you will consider subscribing to my channel. Hit the like button and make sure if you subscribe, you hit the notification bell. And again, I am Catfish Tyler. And I hope you have a blessed weekend, everyone. We'll see you Monday, 9.15 a.m. Eastern Time. Catfish Tyler, over and out.